everybody, it's Heather, the Butterfly Effect, plant-based weight loss, and I have a treat for you today, and a treat for me, because my very good friend Karen is here for the Ultimate Weight Loss Live conference, and she agreed after just a little arm twisting to let me um, interview her, because she is a very successful small businesswoman, and she has done an amazing thing that I think could really catch on and could really help a lot of people if they knew about your, your great idea. And, and um, I'm gonna let her tell you more about it. But um, first, I just want you to meet Karen because she's, you know, made of awesome. I'm so happy to get to know her. So can you tell me how long you've been a plant-based eater and how did you get started? I've been plant-based for seven years, and um, I was uh, I got started because I was uh, very overweight, and my daughter asked me to um, do something about my health, lose some weight, and um, so we were working on that. She asked me to go to an unprocessed diet first, and then I saw Sanjay Gupta's special, The Last Heart Attack on August 29th, 2011, and I decided to go vegan, go whole food, plant-based. That is so cool, so yeah. it's almost your vegan anniversary. Yeah, it was just <laughs> last week on Wednesday. Oh, that's so awesome. That's yeah. so great. And so, um, what kinds of health improvements have you seen since going vegan? Um, I guess my biggest challenge was um, my weight. I've lost a little over 100 pounds. Wow. And um, I, my fitness level was very poor. I couldn't go to the grocery store without leaning on the shopping cart. Um, there was a lot of things I couldn't do. Um, uh, and I had high blood pressure. I had been on blood pressure meds for 12 years at that point. And um, those were my biggies. My cholesterol was getting high. I think I was on the verge of going on some statins, but uh, they hadn't put me on them yet. So. And was that uncomfortable in your body? Like you said, you had to lean on the grocery cart. Did you have like the aches and pains? I know when I when I was carrying around more weight, I had a lot of aches and pains. Did you have that as well? Yeah, I guess the, I didn't have a lot of pain. I just um, wasn't able to do very much. I wasn't very active. Uh, I had difficulty climbing stairs. I had to use both arms to pull myself up the stairs. Um, there just were a lot of activities that I couldn't do. I spent a lot of time sitting in a recliner trying to breathe. I, uh, I was a very heavy breather. I had a hard time getting any oxygen. And, That's the um, worst, isn't it? It, it oh, was mostly, that. it just meant I was just sitting around doing nothing. I was incapable of, of living my life. And uh, just kind of watching life go by, I was. Right? I was sitting in my chair watching life go by. Yeah. That's right. It's very familiar, as you guys know. I. <laughs> I know this story, you yeah, know, yeah. like I live this story. Yeah. So that is so cool. So tell me about some of the things you like to do now. Like, what do you, what wow. classes do you like to take or? Well, I mean, my big thing, my big activity, dream activity is hiking, right? I do a lot of walking, a lot of hiking. <laughs> um, I finally started yoga this year after years of wanting to do it, but not knowing how to get started. I finally started that. Um, six months ago. I've been going every week for six months and um, I don't know. I do weightlifting and I do uh, stuff like that. I love doing jigsaw puzzles. Well, it doesn't help my fitness. It does keep me out of the kitchen sometimes though. Uh, instead of eating, I, I can really get distracted by doing puzzles. Um, That's yeah. so cool. And so um, I know your great idea started from a bad thing, right? From the from the, the Great Recession of yeah. 2008, and it really affected your business. So what was going on? What what happened? Well, you know, we had the Great Recession. You remember that. Yeah, that was pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. So because um, we work in the housing industry, uh, the housing industry was hit really hard. So I basically lost all of my business, laid off all of my employees, um, except for one. And um, we all went out and I, we, I went out and got a job and he went out and got a job. But so the two of us worked very closely together. And then when I changed my diet in 2011, um, the first thing that I did to change my diet is I went unprocessed, which means no more restaurants. 
uh, I wasn't allowed to eat in restaurants anymore. Um, my my rule and with that I made with the help of my daughter, and um, and and so I quit eating out and I started cooking my meals in the office. Uh, I would always eat lunch in the office. And so, and then my one coworker that I had, my one employee, um, he had some bad news for his health too. And his doctor wanted to put him on some meds. And so he wanted to change his diet as well. So we both started, we, he stopped going to restaurants also, and we started eating lunch together in the office. That's so great. And did he go plant-based at that time too? I know you guys were first unprocessed and then later on. Yeah. I think that by the way that it worked out, I think he did move pretty quickly towards a plant-based diet. And uh, it's vague, it's sort of foggy to us. Uh, we've talked about it and we don't really remember exactly how it happened, but by uh, the fall of that year, we were both very much plant-based. We both had seen four server knives and um, both of us were definitely uh, plant-based forever. I mean, it's a we never looked back once we switched. That's so awesome. Yeah. And so, then as more as the economy got better and your business started growing again, you added more people on. What yeah. cool thing did you guys come up uh -huh. with? Well, so we started. Um, we, you know, at first Annie and I had started making. Uh, but we we only had a microwave in our in in the kitchen, so we started out with like steam fresh rice and steam fresh frozen vegetables, and that's kind of, and beans, canned beans. So that's what we ate. But by the time we hired our next employee, um, we had sort of started eating salads, and so um, we just said to the new employee, "Hey, we ha we make salads every day. We make lunch every day, and if you want." Um, you can eat with us and most of the people accepted they, they accepted the free food and it was easier for them to do that than to pack or to leave us while we were eating i think somehow it was awkward people all each person as they came along was open to the idea of eating with us so that's one by one we've added on um i've got five employees now and everybody eats at least when they're in the office uh, they eat plant-based with me. That is so cool. Yeah. So you provide lunch for all of your employees. Yes, I do. Who does the chopping and who does the shopping for these um, <laughs> well, meals? That's the best part is that um, I don't have to do very much work to stay compliant and to eat healthy. Um, and I have automatic support. My employees support me because they're, they're doing the shopping and they are doing the chopping. I do a little bit of the cooking. Um, we we did get an instant pot for the office, so my job is to make the beans. If we need a batch of beans, I do that. But everything else they do. <laughs> that is uh, so cool. Yeah. And so, what are some benefits to having all the team there in eating plant based? And have you seen any other benefits? Yeah, um, that's right. Sometimes I feel guilty about the time and money that we spend on the food, but. Um, I've thought about it and that there are some real positives in um, number one is that uh, we work in an industry where half of the office uh, half of the employees work in the office and half work in the field and so uh, lunches give us a time to spend all our time together we can discuss projects we can discuss um, communication problems we're having between the office and the field um, so that's really been a great um, thing for us as a as a group also, the field guys, um, they were stopping work on a project, driving into town to get some restaurant meal and then eating and then getting back in the truck, heading back out to the job and, and going back to work. And that was taking a lot of time out of their day. And they don't do that anymore. Um, on some days uh, where they have a morning job and an afternoon job, they come back to the office and meet with us. If they have a far away job or a big job, they pack their salads in the morning in the truck and then they eat in the field. And so they only need to take 20 or 30 minutes for lunch and the rest of the day they can be out there being productive. So they're more productive. Are yeah. they healthier? Everybody's healthier. Yeah, everybody, well, nobody is ever getting sick. So uh, it's really great. So do you think it has improved attendance? 
you know, or well, definitely, yeah, nobody's ever sick. I, I, the only time they take off is for their vacation time. <laughs> and one of your employees, the one that started out with you, he's done some amazing things, right? Hasn't he gotten a lot of health benefits and? Yeah, I think he he uh, he got his blood pressure under control. He lost a bunch of weight. He's very fit. He's like a he ran a half Ironman last year. He's, half so he's, Ironman. Yeah, so he's super healthy. Um, he's a dad. He's got a bunch of kids, and he's like a super person. You know, he uh, his he works hard in the in, for me, and he uh, takes good care of his family, and he's really an incredible. That's person. so neat. And it's all powered by plants. <laughs> he would tell you himself that uh, it really has made his life so much better. That is so cool. So. What a positive thing. I just want, I just wanted, I, I thank you so much for telling your story because I just think so many people are small business people and they could do this, you know, mm. like how smart is this to have that built in community support? You've also, I mean, ha what a luxury to have somebody else making <laughs> your food, you know, and doing the chopping and the shopping. That's a great thing. I know it's a luxury you're paying for and you're really making that investment in your employees and making an investment in everybody's health. Um, but like you said, it's paying dividends and good attendance and good health and better relationships among all the employees. So that seems like, you know, you couldn't buy that. Like, yeah, I, I've thought about the money and is the expense worth it? And I think I, I my answer is always the same is, yeah, it's worth it. We love our jobs. We love coming to work. We love the food. Everybody's happy and healthy. And uh, I wouldn't give it up. It's like uh, helped turn us into a small family. You know. Yeah. <laughs> you have a really cool. I think everybody loves working there too. Like, don't you have oh, really good sure. retention as far as you don't have much turnover? Yeah, we do have our newest employee has only been with us for a little over a year. Um, I don't know. But then the one before that, I think, has been with us for seven years. I've got someone where who's been 16 years and one that's 21 years. See, <laughs> that's some loyalty, and that's yeah. people you don't have oh, to yeah. train and all that turnover yeah. and all that. So I just think that's yeah. so cool, and I think you're so cool. I'm uh, so excited. Yeah, thank you that I got to see you at the UWL again. Yeah, it's been really fun. It's been it's a really great, great conference. We had a great yeah, conference. Definitely. And I'll be talking more about the conference and other videos and just like what I learned from each of the specific doctors and stuff like that. Who was your favorite? Just, well. Oh, favorite. Uh, what, what were some of your favorite talks, I guess? Uh, that's really, that's like asking who's your favorite child. Child, okay. <laughs> that's not, I mean, that's not, the most interesting, fascinating, exciting one was Dr. Oliviera, right? Some yeah. really important new information. A lot of what we heard was um, some of my favorite stories, right? Favorite old stories that I've heard many times and I don't tire of hearing of them. But that was really great new information. Yeah, that was think. pretty groundbreaking for me too. Yeah. And I'm going to do a video about that as soon as I've had a chance to right. like really look over those slides and stuff again. Yeah. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. And thank you so much, Karen, for letting yeah. me interview you. And if you know of people that I should interview, hey, make suggestions and I just might do it. I love you guys. I hope you have a great week and I will talk to you soon. Take care.